Hi guys, well here I am for the second time today at a beautiful little church called St Mary's, a thatched church. I've never seen a thatched church before. This is in Thorn and Parva, which is literally around the corner from our village. It's taken us about five minutes to get here and it is absolutely stunning. And before I walk in and show you around the cemetery, um, I have been looking after my earlier video about um, interceptors and the price of them. Indeed, the guy who said they're £5,000 is correct. If you go onto Water Trader, if in the UK, there's a lot of them brand new for £5,000, which is a lot of bike. I mean, they were just a bit too small for me, but for someone who's looking for a first bigger bike, £5,000, I guess it's on the road fees as well but I still I mean that's 13 or 1400 pound cheaper than the RRP and it's a lot cheaper than the Royal Enfield Bear is going to be so yeah check it out if you're looking for a new bike I know one of you guys just commented saying that they're going to get a Royal Enfield once they pass their test in December I mean you could do a lot worse than getting one of those interceptors the new ones have got the up-to-date switch gear um, I think they've got LED lights they're definitely upgraded from the the original interceptors anyway yeah very very good price i would have said anyway let's get back to this beautiful church and this beautiful cemetery i would like to be buried here obviously when i'm dead <laughs> i don't mean this week but this place is just incredible um the church is a medieval church and much of the fabric dates back to the 12th century and in fact, a church was recorded on this site in the Doomsday Book of 1086, which is incredible. What an absolutely lovely, lovely little church. And it's thatched. I've never seen a thatched church before. Don't shoot me down in the comments if they're common. <laughs> I've just never seen one. Um, and apparently, inside let me get my notes out because i've actually taken notes this time how good am i oh this is lovely just trying to find a plot for myself <laughs> i think round there would be really nice oh it is stunning um inside the church and i might see if i can get in there is a altar piece above the altar that was made in 1330 and uh, I really want to get in and see if I can see it. But there are a couple of cars in the car park and I don't know if they're involved with the church or if they've just come to walk their dogs. But let's wander around and have a look. Honestly, guys, this is the reason I moved here. I know I harp on about it, but I, I saw in the comments someone else has just moved to a village near me actually into Suffolk and was saying how he was looking forward to always been riding around the lanes and the little villages and it really is idyllic for that right let me see if we can get in and see this altarpiece because I'm fascinated by it let me just pause for a minute before we go into the church, I've just been reading the notice board of this little, sweet little church. And apparently it costs £34 a day to maintain this church. I don't know if that's a lot or not. A £34 a day, I suppose it is quite a lot. I mean, look at it. Incredible. I've got my other half with me and she's going around seeing if there's a way we can get in because it doesn't seem to be have any doors that are open. But um, I will cut back in should we manage to get in. So guys, we've managed to get in the church thanks to my other half. <laughs> um, and this is the altarpiece that was made in 1330. And then it was saved during the reign of Henry VIII when he was doing the destruction of the monasteries and hidden away and installed in a private chapel. 
and then it came up in auction in 1778 but unbelievably was unsold it then disappeared until 1927 when it turned up in the loft of stables of Lord Henrik or Henker and he donated it to this church incredible this church is really small now I read that this church doesn't have electricity but it has because when we came on all the lights came on um, yeah it's incredible guys I'll spin the camera around and you can see the the church look how small it is very very sweet Amazing. All the etchings on the uh, on the windows. I don't know if you can see that. And that is it. That's the total space of this church. Really, really tiny. That's the door you come through. Amazing. Let's go back outside. Stunning, absolutely stunning. We're on to another church now. I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, but guys, yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, the Royal Enfield Interceptor, £5,000. I think that is an absolute bargain, especially the new colours, the black and the gold one they do and the blue with the orange. I think they look fantastic. Right, guys, I'm going to put this video out tonight and uh, have a great rest of the weekend and ride safe.